Hello guys and welcome to another TKG Games tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be solving the product dealer question 11, which is the largest product in the grid. The problem is to find the greatest product of four adjacent numbers in the same direction, up, down, left, right, and diagonal in the 20 by 20 grid. So for example, let's say I wanted to do the horizontal direction. It would be 8, 2, 22, and 17. And then we can increment and start at 2, and then we get the next 4. So depending, depending on where you are, since it's a 20 by 20 grid, that means that we have to stop at 50 here because 50 with 50, we can get the next four, but at 77, we can only get the next adjacent two numbers, right? Which will fail. So we have to stop the loop at um, 17, right? Which would be, well, at 16, which would be one less than 17, all right? So let's go ahead and actually implement the solution. The first thing we have to do is keep track of the data and we're gonna use a two dimensional array. So what I've done here is just create a, a shell that we can use. Uh, it's gonna be a Java class. And what we wanna do is we wanna implement a method to get the um, two dimensional array. It's gonna be int and I'm gonna call this one uh, data and we're taking no arguments. Next, we want to do we want to actually create a variable, and this is going to hold the data, and we can copy the data from project order. So just go over here, copy and paste. So once you've done this, make sure that you remove the spaces at the end. So this algorithm is going to work if the spaces at the end, uh, the slash ends are removed and the spaces added at the end because I'm going to use the string method split to actually split the numbers by the um, by the spaces. Okay, so once I'm done removing all of this, I'm going to go ahead and come back. All right, so once you're done, your data should look like this. So now all we need to do is we need to split the data. So I'm going to create a variable here. I'm going to call this one the split data. It's going to equal to the data that split and I'm going to split it by the empty spaces. Next, we're going to do, we want to create a 2D array. So I'm going to call this one array. And this is going to equal to uh, new int. It's going to be a 20 by 20 array. All right, so I want to create a 20 by 20. All right, next, we're going to do is we actually want to uh, keep track of the index that we're going to use to go through the split array, the split data. We're going to start at zero. And then we need to create a for loop to actually hold. Uh, to fill in the array, all right, the two-dimensional array. So what we need to do is we need to get the rows and the columns. All right, so what we need to do is just uh, go through our array and then we use the row and the column to fill in that. All right, and uh, this is gonna equal the integer and we're gonna parse in the string and we're gonna take in the um, split data and the index and we can go ahead and post increment. Once we're done here, just go ahead and return the array so next thing we want to do is actually want to print out the uh, array to make sure that everything is lined up right. And um, uh, this is more for debugging sake. All right, so this is going to be so what we can do here is just copy this. paste it here so we don't need this part right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a uh, system dot out dot print F and the string is gonna be percent zero to D in the space so the zeros for the leading zero 
and then we're going to pass in the uh, array with the row and the column subscript all right and then uh, once done with the uh, inner loop we can go ahead here and just do uh, SRT for the system the other print line and then we can create mean to test this there so do public static And so what we need to do is create an array. Alright, just hold the array. It's gonna be the data and then uh, we're gonna be use the print and pass in the array. And when we run this, uh, it should give us the grid format that we have on project order. So you guys can see here we do have the grid. So we can use to our advantage for debugging purposes. All right, so if you wanted to go ahead and get the data uh, horizontally, like we did before, we start with the first uh, number and then we get the next addition, four numbers, right? And if we're doing something like substring, it will get those for us with the four. But since we're not doing that, we have to manually add one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, and then you know get the numbers. So it depends on how you want to uh, implement it, the for loops. So what we want to do is we actually want to create a method that's going to go ahead and uh, return the largest um, uh, the largest product so I'm gonna call this one uh, static and this is gonna be a long set of an int and I'm gonna call this one largest product and this is gonna take in the uh, multi-dimensional array and call it array like always So we need two variables for this. Um, we need a variable to hold the product. Which is zero. And we need a variable to hold the largest. All right. Equal to zero. All right. So all I want to do first is we want to find the horizontal. Uh, right, so we need to create a for loop. So for the row zero, row is less than array dot length row plus plus. Next, we want to do one for the um, for the column. So we're going to say where column is equal to zero. And the column is going to be less than the array row dot length, and it's going to be minus three. Remember, because we can only stop at the 16th digit, so we can copy the last four. If we go in anything beyond the 16th digit, we can get the next four adjacent numbers. Okay, and then what we need to do is going to say call plus plus. Now I want to do, we want to calculate the product. So product is going to equal to the array, and then we do the row and the column, right? And then we're going to multiply that by the array, and then we do the row, and then we're going to do the uh, column subscript uh, plus one. And what I'm going to do is just copy this here, so that I won't have to do a lot of typing, and I'm going to paste. Make sure that we add the multiplication in the middle and two and times and three. All right, so we're going to the right, right? And then to get the largest, it's going to equal to the math dot max, and then we pass in largest and the product. So, like I said before, going horizontal left uh, is redundant, but I'm just going to show you guys one example of how to do it, and then you guys can decide if you guys want to do it or not. All right. So what I'm going to do here is just copy this for now, and this is going to be for the um, horizontal right, and I'm going to go ahead and just paste it so I can save myself some time from actually typing 
So what I want to do, we want to start the actual um, column at the array, that length. And we want to, um, the conditional we have to be greater than three and we're gonna do it backwards. So we're gonna do a call minus minus, all right. So we're gonna subtract the columns by one and here we're gonna do it by two and here by three and we're gonna do it by four. All right, so what we're doing is we are going from the right all the way back to the left, okay? Like I said, you would have to put this, um, you would have to take your time and put this down and actually uh, do the calculations either on paper or do it on a whiteboard to see what the patterns are and how to get it to work, all right? And this is, that's exactly what I did. Go on amazon.com and get yourself a, a whiteboard. And what we want to do, we want to do this one uh, vertically, right? So what I'm going to do here is copy this, like I did before, and we're going to go ahead and paste it. So here, what we're going to do is we need to actually make sure that the top length, since we're going, pretty much going downwards, we need this to be uh, at the 17 spot. So remember that it would have to be the same as working from the other direction. So we're doing this horizontally, now we're doing this vertically. It doesn't mean that the length has changed, it's still a 20 by 20 grid, right? So instead of us to instead of us uh, incrementing the columns, what we do is we're gonna add ones to the uh, to the rows, right? Ones, two, and threes to the rows. And that's the only difference between going vertically and going um, uh, going horizontally versus going vertically, all right? So here. You're gonna go ahead and just add one. And then my mouse is tripping big time, I don't know why. And we're gonna add two, and we're gonna add three. All right, and this we take care of the vertical right. So next one, we wanna do the uh, diagonal right, and then the diagonal left. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paste again, all right. So here it would be minus three, and we're gonna keep the uh, minus three uh, on the column here. And instead of uh, just going adding once in the column, we just have to add uh, once on the rows. So we're gonna be doing uh, something like stairs, okay? So just imagine you're going down some steps, all right? So you go to step one, and just how it's working, that's how steps are created. This is how we would get the uh, diagonal right numbers all right so we pretty much we start if we were um, let's see if i set that data here so if we are at eight then the next number would be uh 49 and then 31 and then um and then 23 so what we're doing is that we're at eight right now so to get to this to this one we have to shift one to the uh to the right and um down one right so we're here currently. If one just go right, we just all we have to do is add one to the actual uh, column, right? Uh, if we wanted to go down, then we would have to add one to the row, right? So now we're at uh, this row right here and this column, right? So, like I said, it's all de it all depends on how you vis uh, you uh, can visualize this problem, okay? So with that said, uh, we're pretty much done with uh, the diagonal right all right so now what we need to do is uh, uh and i need to go ahead and add here okay so this would be three before i mess things up all right so let me make sure that i got this right one two three and go back here one two three okay minus three minus three all right Cause sometimes you know you think you got this all right and then it doesn't really work and next what we want to do is we actually want to find the um uh diagonal left okay so we want to go the other direction so if we're going the other direction right so we're going down once before however if we're going from this way to this way that means that we have to end um we have to end 
somewhere where the number is around um, is around uh, it's gonna be around four just like we did this one right so the reason why this is at uh, for the horizontal right the reason why this is greater than three is because it's gonna be at four so we can catch the last four on the other direction right so you have to do the exact same thing with the diagonal uh, left all right so instead of starting the actual call at zero column at zero we're gonna start it at three right and here what we need to do is that we need to actually subtract this three at the top and we can keep we don't have to minus this okay and uh, since we're going the other direction that means that we have to subtract um, one two and three all right so like I said it's all a matter of visualization and you need to be able to visualize the 2D array so that you'll be able to learn how to traverse it a little bit more uh, efficiently. And all we have to do here is return the largest, okay? And that's it. And this is it for the problem, at least the hard part, all right? So now that we have that, um, all we need to do is just go ahead and print out the solution, all right? So like I said, you don't need the vertical right, and the actual solution is actually here on the diagonal left, all right? So let's go ahead and do a SLT here, and we'll do the largest product, and then we just pass in the array, and this should give us the right answer. And actually, it isn't, so I just, I made a mistake, all right? So right here, my bad. We still have to make sure that we go ahead and um, can't believe I missed this. And we have to make sure that we're going to the other side. All right. So let's go ahead and print this out again. And that should give us the right answer. All right. And it did. So there we go. That is the right answer. All right, guys. This will be it for this tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Have a good day. Bye bye.